A map has four key features that it uses to make sure that its reader understands exactly what the map is talking about. The first is a title. A title is usually at the top of the page and it tells you what your map is showing. So if I had a map and up here it said USA, I would know I was looking at a map of the United States. If at the top it said geological features of China, I would know that that's what my map is showing. A scale shows how large the area is in real life. So a map isn't going to be life size, but instead it has a scale that shows you what real life would be like. Maps have all sorts of symbols on them. Maybe there's a house, maybe there's a cross, and those symbols are shown in the legend. So it would tell you that a cross means that there's a church. Maybe a star of David tells you where the temples are. Stuff like that. And finally, a compass. Now maps could be upside down. They could have south up here and north down there. Or they could be right side up and have north up and south down. And the compass is what tells you which way each goes. So here's a map. Let's identify where those four features are. First, we're looking for the title. Like I said, titles are usually at the top. Here it says Philippines. So we know that we're looking at a map of the Philippines. Our title is also down here. So this map told us the title in two places. Next is the scale. Here's our scale right here. And the scale shows us that this distance on the map is equal to 200 kilometers. Now let's look for that compass. It's down here. And it tells us that north is up. Last is our legend. Now, this map doesn't have symbols, but instead it has colors. And here are what the colors mean. That's our legend. So those are the four basic features you need to be able to read a map.